So we have kicking off Utah Valley against Western Washington University. Two hard-charging teams. This should be a battle here in the Bay. Cool. Utah Valley coming away with that poach. And the big man in the number seven jersey coming in hot, Timote Tupelotu. Nice backhanded offload. And that's Bryce Boyer who's going to go in for the first try of the match. And Utah Valley coming in and starting hot. Utah Valley following right on from where they finished off the last game. Earlier today, they looked really powerful in all facets of the game and immediately showing it here. After the kickoff, getting the quick turnover by driving through the breakdown. Then a couple hard charging runs on the out wide here with a nice little backhanded offload to put his teammate in for the easy try. So Utah Valley looking strong in the early going here. You know, Madison, for a bunch of college kids, these guys look big. These guys are big. I mean, <laughs> there's some of these who wouldn't look out of place uh, at very high levels of rugby. So Utah Valley looking looking big, looking strong, and looking very powerful here. Huh? The conversions missed. Five points the difference here. Utah Valley getting on the board first. High kick to the middle of the field. West Washington getting up, and what a contest by Tupelo 2. But we've got a knock on here. Wow, it's just so hard when you got a kick going that high and then a chaser coming down with that kind of speed, there's going to be a collision. Yeah, Western Washington players standing underneath that ball for a very long time, just watching it descend towards them and probably hearing the footsteps of a very large man from Utah Valley pounding towards them. It's scary stuff for anybody. <laughs> Penalty to Western Washington, and they got the ball in their hands for the first time of this match. Good little in-and-out move. Going back across the pitch. Finding a little space inside. The offload just getting sprayed behind the line. Still picked up by Western Washington. Nice cut back inside. Nice in-and-out move. That's Brown. Ball popping up and around and trying to pop it into his hands. Knock on. Scrum down to Western Washington. <laughs> so now it's a penalty to... Penalty to Western Washington. I think we've missed a card there for kicking the ball away to Utah Valley. They seem to have only six guys in the field. So I think there was a card there for kicking the ball away after the after the infraction, which is unusual for a scrum. Um, usually it's after a penalty that you might get, might get in trouble for delaying the game, but not in this case. We got Western Washington finally in Utah Valley territory. Just outside the 22, and Brown getting wrestled down and slung to the deck. Not releasing the tackle, and Utah Valley gets the turnover. Yeah, the six men of Utah Valley making their presence felt there. Some hard hits on Brown. Ball to the outside of the wing's hand. He does a little in-out move, and he gets bottled up and does well not to go into touch. Bryce Boyer looking like he had space down the sideline with his teammate, Rain Lever. A good turnover from Western Washington in the ruck there, and then Utah Valley reacting to that, putting pressure on it. Um, and now we see in this set piece, this is a big opportunity for Western Washington. They have a man advantage, so this is a big opportunity for them to make that advantage count. Utah Valley choosing to defend with no one opposite the scrum half. So, okay, now, now they've moved a man in. So, Western Washington have a three on two in the back line. So, they probably want to be pretty flat here to take advantage of that. It's Western Washington attacking the outside in the hands of Brown. He reverses. Reverses play. Man coming in to make the tackle. He barely gets it out of his hands. In the hands of big number five. Oh. 
It's a nice offload there, but lost in the tackle by Western Washington, and now it's Utah Valley on the attack through Kinotoni Falatau. Big little kick coming through Utah Valley. West Washington looking like they have something here in the middle of the field. Penalty, hands in the tackle, and Western Washington decided to go quickly. Ooh. He's taken the tap behind the referee's back. The referee can't see it. Then he's going to pull it back every single time. So that's unfortunate for Western Washington. That, but they've still got a big opportunity here. So, ooh. But lose the ball forward in the tackle. That's enormously disappointed with that. And now the man's back, looking like they're coming back on. So back to seven on six, and Western Washington were not able to come away with points there. The man in the bin, Sione Tanafanua, back in the match. So Utah Valley now with back to seven men on the field with a scrum inside their own 22, looking to get some territory and keep some possession here, which they haven't had for the last few minutes. Nice little dummy on the inside, and look at this. Just a fend left, fend right, looking for support on the outside. Number 15 just stretching his legs. He's going to dot it down in the corner. So that's Carter Jacobson with a long try after the offload. Um, good initial break from Utah Valley. Um, that was Falata who made the initial break, found his support, and then Jacobson taking it all the way to the corner. Impressive stuff there from the middle of the field, making the break and then the support coming on the outside. As both you and I know, sports course tries and Utah Valley going ahead here, 10 to nil with the conversion. It's up and looks like this guy's going to be short. Conversion is no good as we end this first half of West Coast 7's action. Oh, it looks like we have time for the kickoff here. So another opportunity for both teams. Utah Valley kicking to Western Washington. One more kickoff. Nice high kick. Western Washington underneath it and then well tackled. The pressure off the breakdown just coming in hot and heavy from Utah Valley. And they get the turnover and get the ball out of there. Into the hands of... Ryan Lever, looks like he offloaded it there, but again, Utah Valley coming up with another score. That was Lever with the try. Yeah, and just like that, you see how quickly two tries from Utah Valley and not much time at all going into the half, and that's really changed the momentum of how the second half will start in a few minutes. The conversion is good, bringing the score line. 17 to 0. First half actions come to a close. Stick with us. We have the second half coming after a quick break.
Welcome back to the West Coast Sevens. We've got the University of Utah Valley against Western Washington University. 17 points in favor of Utah Valley. The kick is up and doesn't look like it's going 10. Utah Valley will get this ball in the middle of the pitch. Yeah, I think that kick probably would have bounced 10. So Western Washington might have been better served letting the ball bounce and then seeing how it bounced all over the 10-meter line. Nice little dummy on the inside. Tacking up the guts. Man. Looks like obstruction call there. Ball to Western Washington. Going through the hands out to the winger. Brown moves it back inside. Nice little dummy on the inside. Nice fend off. Good run forward by Hanks. The ball is out. The referee says play on. And Ooh. behind the back, and oh, one hooks. rugby coming through here. Good looking skills from Western Washington. They get around the corner, but they only got two in support here. And Utah Valley sees it, and they push over. But it looks like they didn't come in straight. So Western Washington giving a reprieve. They've got the ball inside the Utah Valley half, and they'll want to take advantage of this now. This is... One of the best attacking platforms they've had so far. Maybe a little too cute there with the pass, but Brown putting on the foot, and Western Washington still has the pill. Nice over-the-top offload, and Brown can't bring it in. Scrappy stuff here in the corner. The ball squirts free, and Western Washington have it again in the hands of Brown. Trying to wrestle it up. Steps back inside. One-handed offload to the outside. And Western Washington's away. Offload back inside, doesn't go to hand. Utah Valley looking to hold up. Western Washington, and they do so, and they'll get the scrum down. We've got some subs coming on for both squads. Some fresh legs coming in here. It's about four and a half minutes left in this game. Those fresh legs will be value, valuable to both teams. And as a starter, as someone who's staying on the field now, you'll be hoping that they can make the difference uh, in seeing this game all the way to the finish line. Easily won by Utah Valley. And he attacked in the middle of the field. Nice fend off. Come from Tupelotu. He's around the outside. He's keep on going. The double tackle on him. The offload doesn't go to hand. But it looked like Western Washington might have been pushed. But Utah Valley still with possession. And the try awarded in the corner for Utah Valley. Again, extending their lead. Utah Valley seizing on the initial break by Tua Peloto um, and then finding the offload after a little bit of miscommunication or not miscommunication, uh, a little bit of confusion between the Western Washington and Utah Valley players. Uh, Utah Valley are able to push it over the line uh, and score the try to extend their lead. 22 to 0, the kick to come. Ball's up and to the left. Three minutes left to play. Utah Valley have a handle on a considerable lead above Western Washington. Just a bunch of big, hard-charging players here. Western Washington having a hard time bringing down these, these big runners, Madison. Yeah, Utah Valley, a lot of powerful guys, but they've also got really good footwork, good offloading skills. So they're really all around, really skilled rugby players. Um, not just big, powerful guys, but they've also got the skills around the field that you need to be a good rugby player. And well taken by Western Washington. Off the kickoff. And he's down the field just outside of Utah Valley's 22, but a lot of counter rocking coming in for Utah Valley, and they get the turnover in the breakdown. Offload doesn't go to hand, but number six, Patai Makavaha, taking it forward. Counter, 
on the foot, number 13. Fontau recovers his own kick, and he'll score again for Utah Valley. Just a great display of rugby skill there, kicking and chasing and recovering and scoring the try. Lovely stuff. Shades of Madison Hughes out there. Tell you I what. Mean, he looks a lot better than I do doing that thing. <laughs> I mean, that was incredible. He saw the opportunity, saw the space, put the kick into it perfectly, and then accelerated into the gap, and it bounced up nicely for him. So a great try by Falata there to extend this Utah Valley lead. And they really looked very, very good today, Colin. I think probably one of the form teams so far. There are a couple others, Cal um, and a couple others. But Utah Valley looking really good in this early going. And here's the kick. Holotau putting it deep. Bouncing on the 22. Unable to be recovered by Western Washington. Bit of a scramble for the pill on the deck here. Still fighting for it. And the ball squirts out, and it's with Western Washington. Bit of adventurous play and a big hit coming in. Makavaha putting in some hard work here. And there's a turnover right on the goal line. And that's going to be another try for Utah Valley with 20 seconds left to go. They extend their lead 32 to nil over Western Washington. Yeah, great defensive pressure. You saw the big hit on Western Washington. Uh, and they've now taken the conversion with seven seconds to go. So we will have time for the kickoff. Um, and Utah Valley looking to continue adding the points, um, looking after that points difference just in case. But looking very, very good so far and have put up a big score on a Western Washington side. Kick to the opposite side by Fontau. Well taken by Western Washington. And the ball not handled there. Knock on. Playing advantage, the referee. Ball pops out the back. And that's the game, ladies and gents. Utah Valley with a considerable victory over Western Washington, 34-0, to looking strong. We've got more rugby action to come. Who do we have next? Uh, up next, we've got UC Santa Barbara versus San Diego State. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. 